All right, so this is the video. It's over on Rumble. You can see the title. Certainly go check it out. You can fact check me. You're going to listen to the prophecy from Julie Green. And the main thing I need you to hear is where she says, Thus saith the Lord, the word innocent will be heard, and that the case would fall apart. I know many uh, of her brainwashed followers will try to defend her, but there is no defense. She said, Thus saith the Lord, Donald Trump would be found innocent, period. So listen to the clips. The first clip is the prophecy. And then the second clip is her expanding on it later on in the video. Here we go. Breaking news will be heard that will rattle the enemy's camp. Innocent. This ruling will be heard. The case has fallen apart. Their latch dis lat last ditch effort did not work for President Trump. Now listen to what he's saying here. Innocent, this ruling will be heard. The case has fallen apart. Their last-ditch last effort did not work for President Trump. So what he's saying is after this New York City thing falls apart, which it is, it's falling apart. Even, you know, their greatest uh, witness actually... It was a laughing stock, and because he's a he's a thief, and he was stealing from President Trump and his corporation for years, so and his company for a long time. So again, you see a thief and a person has perjured. I don't know how many times, a thief and a liar. They had up as their main witness to help save this, and it actually didn't. But God is saying, look, as this falls apart, they are going to magnify other things that were going to look worse against your nation. So there is no mistaking, you heard it. Julie Green has falsely prophesied again. She said, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the verdict would be innocent. Well, it was not. Julie Green lied in the name of Jesus Christ again. There are zero excuses for this woman and what she said. Now, my question to the followers is, how many times does Julie get to outright lie in the name of Jesus Christ before you biblically reject her? Because right now, we're, we're currently over 100 false prophecies documented. And the fact is, the overwhelming majority of her followers simply do not care that she has made her living literally lying in the name of Jesus Christ. They care more about her than the God they claim to love and serve. They don't care about defending the good name of Jesus Christ. They allow Julie to lie, and then they defend her and her lies. It's astonishing. Well, Julie, if you're listening, you're not going to get away with this forever. Even according to 2 Peter chapter 2, your damnation slumbereth not. My continued hope for you is that you would repent. You have taught your followers that God is flawed, that God misses prophecy, and with you, quite a few, actually. Well, I've got news for you. The God of the Bible does not miss, period. And so I pray your followers would realize this and that they would awaken and reject you because right now you're doing so much damage, it's astonishing. So repent in the name of Jesus Christ.